Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure you are subscribing. I have another great video for you guys. We're doing coasters today and they're made out of concrete. So I'm gonna be using my Cricut machine for this video. Here I am drawing and planning out which fruits I wanna do. And here I am preparing my paint. I didn't add anything to the paint this time. Usually in my other videos you notice I do, but this time in particular I did not. I am mixing some paint, and if you actually want to see a paint mix tutorial or anything like that, I can definitely help you out with that. Just let me know in the comments. Um, so, the fruits we are going to be working with today, if you don't notice by the colors, um, it's going to be, of course, lemon, kiwi, not cantaloupe, but papaya, and watermelon. And these are just some pretty easy, simple type of things I've seen. I've, I got inspired by a Pinterest pictures on people doing coasters. And I was like, hmm, maybe I can do this. Um, at first I'm like, let me draw it out. But then I'm like, I don't know. I want it to be kind of a little bit more cute. I don't want to spend too much time on it. And I want to make it something pretty simple. But eventually I ended up making, doing a lot of time on it because my Cricut machine ended up stopped working for a bit. Um, there's just a lot of complications with it. So I just couldn't connect it to, to my device for some time period, but that's Cricut for you guys. Um, so I decided that it, should, it did take longer than it needed to. So um, here I am painting each one, how many layers I did. I think about, I did about two to three layers um, if it's splotchy in one area, I add more layers. And I tried like doing a little blending, adding a little value to my coasters. And there's such thing called light red, and that's what I was using for the watermelon. And then I tried painting out the sections for the lemon. I keep saying lime. It's probably because I'm Haitian. The lemon. Um, but it wasn't working out. Here I am processing thinking maybe I can actually paint on these. I'm like, it's gonna be a little bit too time consuming. So I decided to go ahead and paint them. So here is a papaya that looks very much like it could be a cantaloupe, but I decided to do papaya. If you know me, you know about my art, I always like doing papayas. Um, here is supposed to be a kiwi. I am doing that line. Look here. It's not accurate as into the color. It's not accurately gonna be the color green for watermelon or the color green that it has on papaya, but I mean, we're just doing something cute and fun as a little project. Nothing that needs to be accurate or precise in any kind of way. All right, so I think by now I should be maybe on the third, maybe even four layers. And here is my outline for the kiwi. And I didn't put these on the borders, I just kept it all one green old color. All right, so here I am in my Procreate app with my iPad Pro, my Apple Pencil, and I'm actually doing a radial. Usually if you see drawings in Procreate, they show like double, with it, which is symmetry, and radial, that's a whole tutorial if you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, but radial is what I'm using to make sure I get all the segments or sections I want equally. And it's easier to do that when you're doing it in a Procreate and then putting it through your cookie machine. So I'm doing it layer by layer. So now I've gotten three layers for my center of my papaya. And I did the same thing for all of the other ones as well. I don't exactly show it on camera simply because my camera had died. And plus I had ran this space as well. Not only did that happen, the overhead holder for my camera broke so now i'm doing it from an angle which is not the greatest and not something i'm used to so bear with me until i get a new one and here i am i didn't show you how i put in the cricket machine and everything but here is the cutouts for the lemon that i did through my cricket i should have done the color that i did for the kiwi in the center because I feel like the cutout for that one was too dark. So I kind of lightened it with a Posca marker just to bring out the cutouts for the lemon. It's just pretty simple designs. Here I am putting in the seedlings 
for the watermelon as you can see I did it through procreate and the radial image came so I did it on one section and it went through for a whole um, four sections but that can also be a separate tutorial if needed or if requested as well and here it is looking like a whole watermelon just getting some speckles off that and I hope you I like it I really like it all right and here is the kiwi this one was kind of a little bit more difficult not the center part of course a tiny 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 little seeds that I cricket and cut through my machine I'm like ugh. it was such a tedious task trying to get the little seeds on there and also centering this portion of the kiwi itself and I know not all kiwis are round a lot look a lot of them are oval but in this case what can you do? All right, so I had to kind of pick, pull out what can, can pull out and pick out what I can pick out. After a while, I got tired. I probably didn't pick every single little seedling out, but I got a good majority out of it. Still turned out pretty well with the accuracy. I actually one day soon want to do a full on set of dragon fruit because I've seen that one before on Instagram and I'm like hmm and that is the yeah it's not centered but you know I'm not a professional <laughs> here I am layering my papaya um, center which is where all the seeds hold and you can see there's an outline and in the center of it it's usually like a darker color I'm using transfer tape to add it to the coasters. Look at that. I should have made it a little bigger. And here's the highlight for the seeds. So that way you can see that there's seeds in there and it's not just some big old black splotch. And these were as well tedious, kind of like the kiwi seeds. So now I have to pick them out personally and put them in that center. But here are my four coasters. I think they turned out really great, really cute. I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and put some resin on them and see, stay tuned for more coaster videos if you like this one and make sure you are commenting, keep that algorithm going. Have a good one and see you in the next video.